Hey, how's it going everybody? It's uh, Ryan here and today I'm going to show you an exercise that I learned from Chris Lopez over at Kettlebell Workouts. I was on his channel watching some videos and I saw this exercise. It's called a leopard crawl or just a crawl. Sort of a progression because you can actually regress this exercise by sliding your knees and you're essentially on like see me moonwalking a crawl back. And essentially what this does is a kind of a cool way to work your abs which is sort of a surprise. I actually expect to feel more upper body. Actually, I did feel upper body. It's actually more triceps and shoulders that get fatigued. But, and you get your forearms to stretch, which is also really cool when you don't have good uh, wrist flexibility. But the one thing I do like about it is that you're working your serratus interior a little bit. You're learning how to stabilize the shoulder in sort of a different plane. You know, it kind of teaches these kind of primal movements. I think one of the certifications that uh, Chris Lopez has is um, original strength. And I'm bringing it up here because it's sort of a, it's something I've never done before. This is my first time doing it. I decided to make a recording about it and add some interesting commentary. Uh, it's basically an ab workout for, it could be for girls, but for men also. Uh, it's what the title of the video is. Because you're going to work your obliques. You're learning how to kind of move side to side with a different kind of load platter, pattern. At the same time, uh, one observation I'll notice if you kind of see how my butt rocks side to side, that's sort of a little bit of a movement fault. I mean, I'm able to do that. You're able to do that. But what that just tells you is that I'm having some issues with my with hip flexibility. Hips are tight. At probably more so the adductors and hamstrings. Probably more of the adductors that are the issue. That's causing the rock side to side. I shouldn't have as much of that. And um, you kind of see I'm basically hip hiking. If you're familiar with NASM, uh, you would see this on a single leg squat test when someone's hip hikes up. And you're kind of seeing this here as I kind of crawl forwards and backwards. Anyways, if you have a question or want to leave a comment, leave one below. I'll do my best to answer it. I'd like to help you out as any way I can. Thanks for being a subscriber. Cl click the thumbs up button to help me out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next video.